Well, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremy Williams representing Garden City Ammonia Program and uh, going to come online this morning and talk about uh, one of the most exciting announcements that we're ready to make. It's been about five years in the progress. Uh, but fellas, ladies, gentlemen, companies, plants, Ammonia Technician One Dates were put on the website last night. And uh, just want to talk a little bit about the class and what we have with it and what will be happening. And uh, give a few minutes for a few people to come on and um, post any questions or comments if you have. At the end of the video, I think we're going to give away something pretty cool. Uh, so looking over here, flip this thing around just a bit. Uh, the brand new GCAT tumblers. And um, if you want a chance to win one of these, we'll have a drawing at the end of the video to talk about some ways that... Uh, we can get you one of these sent over your way. Uh, Ammonia Technician 1 has been something that we've been wanting to do and step out of the box a little bit as an industry educator and uh, try to be able to give a, a solid class to our seasoned techs and uh, probably one of the most high-skilled mechanical classes that are out there. Um, it's going to be a combination of daily, weekly, monthly, annual, semi-annual, every five years, even some of the new 10-year things of inspections, tests, maintenance. Uh, we'll be using a development of a course that will be looking at what does code and best practices need, but also, you know, what does leading educators such as Rita's, Rita Book 3 and maintenance tasks require within that, trying to uh, establish and develop the, the proper procedures. Uh, so a couple things that I want to show you right now, and uh, you'll be able to get on the website if you want to see this, but this is GCAP's calendar, and I'm going to go forward a few months here and try to show you something here. But we are in the month of May, or excuse me, July, and July 6th through the 9th, Ammonia Tech 1. Uh, this month is sponsored by Colby. Uh, come to Garden City, Kansas, to celebrate our freedom July 4th, and get yourself enrolled in Ammonia Tech 1. Very, very, very first class. Number two class, Ammonia Tech 1, August 10th through the 13th. This month is sponsored by Farley's Refrigeration. Sorry, refrigeration, not refrigeration. Uh, some of the best guys out of Florida. International representation. Third class available September 29th through October 1st. Uh, this site and that, that month is sponsored by Stellar. Um, so we got three dates on the website. First come, first serve. Um, we haven't yet officially set a limit to how many people could be in the class, but just kind of having a, an idea probably 12 at max. There's so much stuff that will be happening in the engine rooms from, from setting and tripping, all the safeties, activations, pump downs, um, maintenance, um, everything that we can do safely and reliably with the students that are on hand. And um, so check it out. I got the competencies on the website, syllabuses, and what we'll be covering day one, day two, day three, day four, what will be covered in the manuals and the books. Um, you should be well off if you have the experience and the credentials for you Rita folks. Um, we have a partnership that we created, more coming out on this, uh, but the past president of Rita and the executive director of Rita actually came to Garden City, Kansas, Jim Barron and uh, Arlie Farley, and um, they were here in January, I believe, and uh, a great working relationship, and it's only going to get stronger. And the goal is is, uh, is that if you want, you can take their certification exams after the exams as well. This is what this class will be trying to prep you for and um, be able to get the technician level test if you desire that and you meet their competencies and qualifications to do this. Uh, we'll be using a lot of both engine rooms at GCAP. You know, basically engine room number one is completely in revamp phase. Three new systems in here and we're using technician one engine room. Uh, I mean, it's just the, the sky's the limit. Let me show you some progress that these guys have made in the last four days. As you haven't known, or maybe you don't, we have changed out the compressors on System A. There's two new MICOMs that sit here, both of them twin screws. Uh, got a lot of the piping in. The thermal siphon supplies in with the sight glass here. Uh, the thermal siphon return pipe is actually plumbed in as well. A sight glass will be going where you see that hole. The main discharge of this compressor has been ran, all the condensers. And our main suction header has been ran as well on this particular machine. Uh, its VFD is about 90% commissioned electrically. And when we come around this corner, you'll see that the, uh, the motor is also ready to go on it. Uh, so this one's getting close to a pressure test. We were having the panel hooked up here this week and running live on that one. 
this booster here is thermal siphon supply has been ran and the thermal siphon return has been ran sight glasses are cut in you'll see that this is the discharge pipe here and when we come out of that discharge pipe kind of giving you a better angle here that is the isolation valve we come to a T and then the pipe goes vertical so for you guys watching what's that T for what do you think we'll be doing with this machine with one pipe running into its main discharge header the turquoise line is thermal siphon and then this one right here has nothing to happen so it's got a bonus point question give you a million points and tell me what we'll be doing with this machine uh, some of the most exciting things that I think that uh, I'm looking forward to on this system is the 14 unique sight glasses that are being cut in so right here is the discharge of this pump we love the dual sight glasses one on each side so light can come through that is the supply to this pump and over here is the exit of the evaporator coming out of the main freezer and uh, will be really really neat to see what it looks like in that pipe depending on the condition of the refrigerant but nevertheless guys technician one dates are on the website you must have operator one and operator two uh, credentials or pre-approved testing credentials um, we got about 90 people that have been on the waiting list for this. Uh, get yourself enrolled. We got classes July, August, September. More will be coming. And uh, let's see if we can't get away for you to win a GCAP tumbler. And um, we hope you all have a great weekend. And uh, I hope you enjoy your time. So this is what we got. That's the tumbler that we'll be milling out. And then inside that white box right there, there's a question mark right next to it. So if you can see it right there. To win the tumbler, this is what I need. I need you to like this post. I need you to share this post. And third and not least, I need you to comment another Ammonia Tech's name that you think would want Ammonia Technician 1. And after you comment their name, give me your favorite number between 0 and 500. Just like the last drawing, closest number wins it. You've got to do all three. You've got to like it. You've got to share it. You've got to comment another Ammonia Tech's name. And then give me your favorite number between 0 and 500. Closest one to the number that's written on the other side of this box wins it. Have a good weekend, folks. We'll talk to you later. Till we see each other again, remember, keep it in the pipes.